I saw you walking in the rain. We were holding hands in love. Never be the same. Hey, y'all, it's, uh, it's Black Friday. It's, the, it's racist if you think about it. Black Friday? Why the Friday gotta be black? Um, it's the day after Thanksgiving. I didn't do any Thanksgiving videos or anything from Mom's house. I know typically that's the time of the year where we all get together and we, we hook it up and we do it. And we did. I just didn't do much video. Uh, I'm on my way to the store now to get change. And, yeah, we're getting weed. Like... No qualms about it now. I'm just completely addicted. It's what I like to do. And I'm a fucking chill. But um, yesterday was interesting. In the sense that. Uh, Mom had a date. For. Whoa. Can't have that. I need this hood back on. Whew. Mom had a date for Thanksgiving. This dude that she's friends with. It's like. Uh, I won't even get in that. You know what. My hood is. Whew. All right, I'm gonna tighten it up. Now I'm Kenny from South Park. But um, also the two children from her now failing marriage stopped by, and I admit to having preconceived notions about them because I don't like her husband. Like at this point, none of us do. Not even her. I don't even think he likes himself. So I had these preconceived notions of what they were gonna be. They were kind of dicks the last time we saw them but it's been a couple of years and they've mellowed out and they're older now and they're just decent people I was gonna say oh yeah they're good kids but I, thought I heard somebody call me but you know they're just they're cool we had a good time played some games I watched Coco um, dinner was great and everybody knows that Thanksgiving is always better the second day I saw a meme and the guy was like, uh, Thanksgiving food always tastes better the second day because you get to eat it alone. So, yeah, you know, I just, I, I look forward to going to mom's house for the holidays. Like when I heard that we might not be going over there for Christmas because she was thinking about going out of town, it legit bothered me because I look forward to that. You know, we go over there and we kick it. You know, it don't even have to be like a big deal. We just... We're in each other's presence, and it's just a couple of days out of the year, we set these days aside to be together, and the rest of the year, you can kind of go about your business. So, I enjoy quite a bit spending time with my family on Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know? Uh, but now, head to the store, probably grab some drinks too, gonna get the weed from the Black Friday Weed Man special. Which is another reason why I'll never just walk up to somebody on the street and be like, hey man, you got some weed? Because that's not a reputable business. Like, who are you? I need to question your, your business practices. Like, if I order these cushies and something's wrong with them, I need somebody I can hold accountable. Hey man, this wasn't this. Or, hey, this wasn't up to the quality I was expecting. And that company can then do something to rectify the situation but I seriously doubt that the weed man conforms to the standards of the better business bureau you know that's just my line of thinking so I'll always go to a dispensary I'll always get like quality kush and I also as of late like I'm a pragmatist at this point oh now I look like a Sith because the hood is over my eye um I'm a pragmatist in the sense that I tend to conform my way of thinking to the available information and I do what I think is best. I feel as though uh, part of me needs to get over my get off my high horse, get over myself, and just smoke weed. Like, not all the time, not like you see people just walking down the street doing it. That's the negative connotation I'm looking to avoid. I mean just in the sense of, damn, I wanna, wanna take a couple of hits and be buzzed right fucking now. So I light that mug up, I go outside because I don't smoke in my house. Not because of the the uh, security deposit or 
the rules that they set down. I just don't want my house smelling like weed. So I should go outside, take a couple of hits, let it fuck me up, and then carry my ass back in the house. And if it dies down, when it dies down, if I just want to feel that way again, carry my ass outside and do it again. You know? It might be cheaper to do it that way. So that's definitely something I'll have a conversation with, with my wife. Oh look, I'm at the store. Let's wrap this up. Thank you, sir. Oh, you didn't see that. <laughs> Ooh, that's flip-flops in the rain. Never a good idea. All right, I'm done.